Good evening, people, on this Friday. Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, you know, I know it's been the last couple of days and I haven't made a video because I've been dealing with other personal things and, you know, I had to get things together. But today I want to talk about a game console that I grew up liking and enjoying in, and it's um, the Sega Dreamcast. In fact, I got the console right here. The, I got it in, in, in black. And I remember um, I'm getting this back when I was nine years old in 2000 when parents bought for me from um, uh, uh, um, my birthday, which my birthday is on November 6th. And just I remember just growing up playing it. And before I start talking about it, I got some of the games too with it, though. I got the um, uh, Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation right here. I got NFL 2K21. You see where Randy Moss, during the time you were playing with the Minnesota Vikings in his famous 84, Hall, NFL Hall of Fame and Randy Moss. I got Soul Calibur game right here, as you can see, which is a great fighting game. Two sword fighting game. I got NBA 2K1 with um, another Hall of Famer in NBA, uh, um, Allen Iverson. We played with the 76ers. Also, I got the NFL 2K uh, with Randy Moss right here, as you can see on the cover too, as well. And also, too, I have the um, controller right here too, as well. Um, the um, video game controller right here, as you can see with the um, memory card inside of it right here, which. Don't carry a lot of memory, but carry some games too. I got it for cheap from um, Game Trader for nine dollars and ninety-eight cents. So I got the um, game controller too as well. But yeah, you know, get this game console to bring a lot of memories. And you know, Sega Dreamcast was a game system that was really ahead of its time, especially with the titles they had like Crazy Taxi, which I had the opportunity to play and own, um, Shenmue, which was a game that um, really was revolutionized open world games. And we talk about open world games, we talk about Grand Theft Auto, Fallout, and other games though really Shemu was the game that really kinda like was the first to do that. Another thing that was special about the Sega Dreamcast was it's the first game system to have a um, um online gaming play um gaming for gamers to play in certain games. I remember some games like I think NFL two K, NBA, Fantasy Star Online, you was able to play online on those um, game consoles, on, on, on the game console. Then later on, you'll see that be popularized with Xbox Live, with Xbox. You'll see that with uh, PlayStation 2 as well, the PlayStation Network that's still going on today, along with Nintendo. So really, you know, Sega Dreamcast uh, pioneer um, online gaming too as well. It's just the unfortunate thing about the Sega Dreamcast, we know it had a short lifespan right there. I think it was around for about three years. They, 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 they uh, um, released their game console in Japan in 1998, and then they released their um, game console in the um, United States in 1999, but they discontinued um, making video games by early 2021, and part of that was because of the of tough competition that the PlayStation 2 um, came, along with DVD, you know, that, that really killed the Dreamcast, along with a lot of financial issues with this um, uh, uh, um, Sega 2 as well, and also too, tragically, this was the last game console that um, Sega were released though, and they would become a third party um, um, video game company making video games for PlayStation, for Xbox, and Nintendo for the competitors, including Sonic and um, um, Like a Dragon or Yakuza 2 as well, which are all great titles. Also, too, I forgot to mention though, another game, great game for the Sega Dreamcast was the Sonic Adventure, the first one and the second one too, which great games too as well, great titles. But yeah, just growing up with a Sega Dreamcast, I really enjoyed playing that for the short lifespan. Just the games and just being ahead of its time. And it was just a, just a fun-ass system. And just looking at it right now, you know, it still works. I can still play right here. You got the game consoles with the four ports right here, controller ports you can see in the back. Now, back then, though, you had dial-up internet. You don't have the internet you have today as well, wireless. So you had to put the... Um, dial up a wire right here to play the game the power but the power wire and also you can open it up like this and you put the video game inside you close it and you click onto it and it plays and it just was it just a fun ass system though i just really enjoy playing playing that game console as well and i can play it right now if i wanted to but now right now i'm on the ps5 doing watching wwe smackdown but it just, I really hate, though, what happened with Sega and, and stop making consoles because of the failure of the Dreamcast. Like I said, it's just something just ahead of its time, though, and unfortunately, you have that short lifespan. 
And I personally always hope that Sega will make another console, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen, though, just with the situation right now and stuff. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I just I just think Sega is not interested, though, just because of PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo. Just, they're, just, they're just ruling the console market, especially with PlayStation as well. But, you know, it just, it's just been great memories, though. We, despite the short lifespan and the Sega stopped making consoles, it, it, it left a long lagging, long, le, long lasting legacy in uh, video games, too, as well. And just some of the games was just, like, like I say, ahead of its time. Enjoy it. And, you know, I, I enjoy it right there. Especially that shit move game right there, you know. And, you know, and it was fun. And I, and I would make another video, separate video, talking about that, the shit move as well. But, um,. Yeah, you know, just Sega, man. Just the whole history made a lot of great consoles. Sega Genesis, you had a Sega Saturn. First, in fact, the Sega Saturn was the first console that I, that got me hooked playing video games. Cause I, I, I did own a Sega Saturn too. Actually, that was my brother's right there. Um, with the uh, Virtual Fighter Two game, Virtual Cop, and Daytona um, Beach game, and that's where I started learning to play video games on my own and stuff. I used to watch my bro older brother play games, but that got me hooked playing games right there, playing the um, Sega um, Saturn. And of course, that game, also that system had a short lifespan too as well, and that's why the um, Sega um, Dreamcast came along, took over, and became the console. And you know, unfortunately, that short lifespan too, and that was the end of, sec of consoles. But again, yeah, this is the um, game system right here is in black, you know, because it was a Sega Sports version that came with some of the um, video games like um, NFL 2K, NBA 2K, as well as you can see the games here again, NBA 2K, uh, NBA 2K 21, so Caliber, and 2K1 right here, you know, all that good stuff right here, along with. You know, Tomb Raider right here. So, yeah, man, it's just a, a fun system, man. And I really enjoy it, though, man. I just hate what happened to Sega Dreamcast. But, like I said, again, it left a long lasting legacy. And I don't know, just thinking about it now, just, you know, when games was games and stuff. And I just wonder if Sega ever gonna make another console, though. What if um, the Sega Dreamcast? So well, it was successful. Will Sega will continue making consoles in the next generations too, even today? If not, if, if the Sega Dreamcast didn't, didn't fail, or even the um, Sega Saturn didn't fail, you know, if S S Sega would be a major force and player in making consoles today, beside PlayStation X, Microsoft, and all that good stuff. So, just something to think about. And just seeing nowadays, though, PlayStation's still the top dog in, 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 in console gaming. Xbox still doing pretty well. Nintendo's still there, though, and, you know, just because of the um, Switch and along with the games like Mario and Zelda, so they're not going to really go nowhere. But, yeah, just thinking about Sega Dreamcast, man, that was just a fun system, man. Like, again, with the games Crazy Taxi, Shimu, and... You know, also, also another game I was like too playing was Street Fighter Alpha. Yeah, I just love playing games Street Fighter Alpha Three on the games on Sega Dreamcast as well. So, yeah, that brings out tremendous memories too as well. So, yeah, you know, it's just some of the, my childhood memories growing up um, playing consoles like um, Sega Dreamcast. Also playing the PS2. I had I, I got a PS2 as well. Uh, playing the, the um, GameCube, I enjoy playing that. I got a GameCube, also playing um, Xbox. So I had all the systems, though, you know, growing up. In the sixth generation, though, I played all of them. But no doubt, the first system I got was the uh, Dreamcast right here. And this is when I really enjoyed, though, before the PS2 came along and messed that whole thing up with the DVD and the games they got, too, as well. But it's just crazy, though, that this game, had, despite the Sega Dreamcast having a short lifespan, had an impact and making a lot of top-notch video games despite the three years that was around they made um top-notch games as well you know it's it just really um, amazing right there so despite the short lifespan the Sega Dreamcast do indeed have a um long-lasting legacy you know that exists you know and it was really great for them but again this is the console right here Sega Dreamcast, this is how it looks. Just in case some of y'all youngsters don't know how Sega Dreamcast looks, this is how it looks. And 
And here's the controller right here. It's a really big controller. <laughs> but it's really fun though to play as well. But yeah, I didn't make this video talking about the Sega Dreamcast as well. Um, hit the like button, no comment, or whatever your thoughts and opinions about Sega Dreamcast. If you own one, I would like to hear your thoughts or whatever and all stuff. And I'll make videos like this, though. You know, on this channel, I'll make anything. Video games, history. In fact, I plan to start another, uh, a history channel called Moments in History, talking about the good, bad, and ugly about um, history as well. That's coming up soon as well. So I'm really organizing certain interesting topics to talk about that, too, as well. But as of right now, though, I'll come back here to talk about anything um, in regards to, you know, anything that's on my mind, too, as well. So... That's what I w um, would do. But that's all I, have to, I had to come in and talk about. Um, and I'll catch you later on. Hope everybody have a good evening. I'll catch you later on.